Good morning, children. Today we are going to start new chapter, chapter number eleven, work and energy from our book. Children, we are going to understand what is work. There is difference in day-to-day -day life, the work, and in scientific terms. To make this point clear, let us consider few examples. As you all know, in daily routine, we are doing lot of work, like cooking, bathing. studying carrying load and lots of work but you, do you know children these actually all these are activities they are not they do not fall in the category of work in this chapter we are going to learn a lot about the work for example children you can see in the figure that the girl is reading she is reading another girl is writing the boy is standing and thinking and another boy he is sitting on the cycle in all these figures what do you think are the children doing the work or any work is done the way we understand the term work in science the work is not done for example when we are studying we are using our intelligence but neither we are applying any motion nor motion is caused so this doesn't fall in the category of work likewise if we are sitting on a cycle and we are not applying any force on it so that it, there is no motion produced on, on with the cycle so we say that no work is done yes children if you see to it that a person is applying a force on this box he is applying force to make it to move from its position despite all efforts if the box does not move we say that he is not doing any work but if it moves we say that he is doing the work and also you can see the person is pushing the trolley and the person is moving with the brief case so many situations are there another person is holding a brief case in his hand we have to find it out are they all doing the work and if they are doing that what type of work is it is it the work of the daily life or it, in scientific terms do we say that it is the work yes children in scientific terms we say that the work is done only when when the two conditions are satisfied when in force is applied on the object and the object shows displacement then we say that the work is done if any of the above condition is not does not exist we say that no work will be done yes children you can see that it is in scientific terms let us consider that force a force f is being applied on this object and it displaces by s meters you can see we say that the work done w is equals to the product of force and displacement thus work done by a force acting on the object is equals to the magnitude of the force multiplied by the distance moved in the direction of the force which is applied the work has only magnitude it does not have any direction yes children so we have understood what is work and now understand the types of work there are three types of children work one is a positive work another is a negative work and one is a zero work when do we say the work done to be positive your situation you see the situation here children that there is a wooden block which is lying on the uh, here and if you are applying the force in the direction of the displacement and in this situation we say that as the force is applied in the direction of displacement we say that it is the work done will be equals to the product of force and displacement in such a situation we say that the work done is to be negative i'll make you more clear in the next slide yes children 
it means that it says that if force applied on an object and the displacement are in the same direction and the force and displacement makes an angle of 0 degree we say that the work done is positive okay children in the next figure you can see that you consider a situation in which any object is moving with a uniform velocity in any particular direction and retarding force children you can see the retarding force is being applied in the opposite direction so that the angle between the force and the displacement is 180 degree between this and it stops the object stops after displacement in such a situation the work done by the force is taken as negative because it is a retarding force for example you can give the example when the car is moving and suddenly you apply a force to stop the car that is a retarding force in that case the work done will be negative children you can see the figure uh, one next figure children yes you can see that here again the force and displacement are in the same direction we say that the work done is positive in the next figure you can see children the work done is negative as the force applied and the displacement both are in the opposite direction but third type of force is zero work done when do we say the zero work done it is that when the force applied and the displacement are at right angle to each other we say that the work done will be zero here in this case you can see the work done and the force they are perpendicular to each other now if you wonder that work done is zero it means if a person is carrying a suitcase and he walks in a horizontal direction the angle between the direction of force and displacement is 90 degree in that case we say that the work done is zero it is a zero work done also children one more example you can see that if a body is moving in a circular path we say that the work done is zero so if we say that what these three cases that the types of work that if the force and displacement are in the same direction you can see with the arrows from this figure that we say that the work done is positive if the force and displacement you can see children are in the opposite direction as the retarding force is applied to stop the car we can say that the work done is negative and if the force and displacement are perpendicular to each other as the example that if a person is having a suitcase and moving on the ground in that case the force applied and the displacement are perpendicular we say that the work done is zero in this case okay